everyone and welcome back to my craft room. My name is Kelsey. I also call myself Dinosaur Mama and today we are continuing our SVG journey and we are going to learn about nodes. If you are just starting this SVG journey, make sure you hit the subscribe button to my channel so that you can get up to speed and learn every week with new tutorials on how to use Inkscape to make free SVG files for your Cricut or other cutting machines. Now, before we get started, I should probably talk about what is a node. I have mentioned them in a few of my other Inkscape 101 videos, but nodes, I like to say, are points that your Cricut goes to to make the cut. So it starts at one point at one node and it's going to cut to the other point on a path to another node. I just think that's the best and easiest way to describe them for cutting machines. They are points in which the machine is going from to make the cut. So in today's tutorial, we will go through nodes and you'll see all the different functions that are available within Inkscape to change those nodes to make SVGs. So now that we have a basic idea of what a node is, let's get started in Inkscape. Start by looking at where you can go into the node function. You'll see your select tool and then right below it is the node tool. You'll be able to access nodes with shapes or the Bezier tool. I'm gonna focus on the drawing tool with the Bezier. You can look at the modes up at the top and change it. I'm literally just drawing a random shape. It doesn't need to be anything perfect. I just wanna go through what nodes are and how to change them. Now, as you can see to draw this random shape, I just went point to point and I'm moving around the points now within node mode. And by using these points, you're able to make your paths longer, you're able to curve them. The nodes are the place where the machine will stop cutting and turn or change the path. So as you can see, you can move all these nodes around, up and down to create your shape. And the red line is going to be the path where your blade is cutting on your Cricut or your cutting machine. You can move these paths to make different shapes. They can be rounded, um, they can cross over each other, um, but where you're putting those nodes are going to be how the blade is cutting. Now let's take a look up top on how to add nodes in if you want them to be even. So this first button up at the top when you're in node mode will add a node in between on a path perfectly in the middle. So if you have multiple nodes selected, like you see here, the more I click it, it just keeps going in the middle over and over again. You can also click anywhere on a line and double click and it will um, add nodes as well. The button to the right that I just clicked, that removes the nodes. I went through all the buttons in the middle. I've actually never used this drop dropdown. Um, so when getting started, I don't think that this is really necessary. And in the future, I'll do more research and get back to you about how we could use these to make our SVG files. Now let's move over to these four buttons. When you have two or more nodes highlighted and you click that first bu button, it's going to join them. So it's going to bring them to one center piece. So I have three clicked, I clicked join and it brought it to the middle, like centered it perfectly. So think of it as a centering for nodes. The next one over is going to be break path. And what this is going to do is it's going to break apart the node from the path so that if you want to add something in or change it, discard it, you can do it here. So let me rejoin these back together. And you do that by um, going back and undo, or I just hit join, but I, I did lose a path there. And let's go back to the way it originally was looking with that third point down, that third node. Our next one is going to be deleting a path. So you see I had two highlighted. I highlighted over it, I hit that delete path, and the red line is now gone. You wanna make sure when you're making SVGs, all of your paths are connected. It is very important that you don't have any holes in your SVGs. I made one the other day and uploaded it, and it had a hole in it, and because there was a hole, it wasn't going to cut all the way around the image that I needed. So you might be deleting segments, but make sure you keep them whole. Let's look at the next group of buttons, these four. When highlighted over your nodes, your first one is going to make a corner. So let's round it, the second button in. So you see how it kind of gives a curve, right, to your path. You'll see it's more um, smooth, it's not a sharp edge. That's how you change how your paths are. So the first one, you'd actually have to double click it to make it a corner again. Um, and then the second one is going to round your nodes so that the path becomes round. 
The other ones are also kind of curving, so we will look at those as well. So your first one is making corners, your second one is rounding and curves, and so is the third one. The next one after that is actually rounding, so when you, you click on that, it'll be completely round. These next two over here are going to straighten and curve your paths. Now the curve one doesn't really work as well as I would like it to, but the straightening of the path, which is the one on the left, not the one I'm hovering over right now, will really give you a straight path. So if you wanna have a completely straight line, then you're gonna to wanna to click the one on the left. So you'll see I have my nodes highlighted and I hit straighten and it becomes a perfectly straight line in between those two nodes on that path. So for this to be a usable object within Cricut Design Space or your cutting machine, we need to add a color. And so you see you can add any color just by clicking on those colors at the bottom. And here I'm just playing around with my nodes. I still have it in the node mode and I'm moving things around. And this way you can kind of see how your object's going to look within those node paths. And this is exactly how it would upload into Cricut Design Space. My biggest suggestion while you're learning how to work with your Bezier tool and your nodes is just play around. Like as you can see, I right clicked and I was able to delete a node and it kind of made it smooth. So it's definitely great to just play around within the node feature to see all of its capabilities. And in a future video, we'll go back and we'll do a tracing of making a full object, an SVG with multiple layers, because I feel like when you're getting started and even when you're advanced, Tracing an actual picture of something really is the best and easiest way to make an SVG. Jumping over, I'm gonna grab a circle. You can grab any of the shapes that they provide, make it as big or as small as you want. I just wanna show you that when you have a shape that they provide, whether it be the rectangle or the stars, these don't have nodes when you first bring them out. You have to add that in kind of. So while you are on your object, you'll go to path up at the top. It's a drop down and go object to path. And that's going to give you the nodes. So now we can go through and start playing with our buttons. Here I have it clicked and I'm adding in multiple nodes just so you can see on this circle. And now I'm just grabbing paths and pulling out. I just wanted to show that you can change any shape, object, play around with it. It's just the best way to do it is just playing around and seeing how you like it, how things work for you, how things move. Um, you know, it's okay to make mistakes and see, see how they look. And then once you start learning all of the functions, that's when you can start creating more and more items. And just looking this over, if I grab a bunch of nodes and hit delete, you'll see it stays kind of smooth and rounded and you can move this around to make different shapes make different objects, like this kind of looks like a baseball hat. And so there's tons of different ways to move these around. And so nodes, again, are just your points and then you're adjusting paths. So same part for a rectangle, you can round the edges easiest when you're within the shape. Then you need to go to path and object to path to see all of the nodes. So again, you can round within the shape, but then you have to add in the path and the nodes to actually be able to mess around with it and change the structure of the shape. And if you have any questions on what nodes are and how to use nodes and paths, don't forget to drop a comment and ask me a question. Thank you so much for joining me today on my tutorial on nodes for Inkscape. And if you haven't already and you gained something from this video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe and turn on those alerts so that you can continue your SVG journey with new videos every week. If you feel like you need a refresher or you haven't already, please remember to check out my Inkscape 101 tutorial playlist, and this will teach you some very basic techniques on creating your own SVGs. Happy crafting!